Brianna and Jimmy drank a little bit too much. Maybe one beer too much. I was fine last night. But, uh, yeah, I convinced them actually to spend the night here with me because, you know, that's fun. And they got to try the van life. T took, the t took the top bunk and me and Champ fought over the bottom. It was great. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Peace out. Well, the original plan was only to have them over for dinner, but it's so cool when you meet like minded people like that on the road and you just click. And we had a great night, man. I had an absolutely great night. But uh, I gotta get to make some moves here. I have to uh, get ready to go sailing again today. I know. My life is awesome. All right, let's hit the road. Today's uh, sailing is gonna be kind of fun, kind of new, kind of interesting because it is an electric boat. That means that uh, it's a sailboat, but with an electric motor instead of a diesel or a gas, which is definitely the direction I wanna go. So it's gonna be really nice to see this in action. I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, that was good. That worked out well. Here it is. So small. Direct shaft. Sorry, is it okay if I tell them the story of your boat? Oh, yeah. Five years ago, my son and I did the project here. And everything was kind of trashed. Like, motor wise, it was just. Yeah, motor shot. Yeah, throw it, threw it away. And uh, what I bought was the motor and the controller from this guy down in Santa Barbara. Never met him. And we had a pan made. We diagrammed it out, made a pan, mm -hmm. and uh, got everything mounted.
Welcome to Angel Island. And this is the Ayola Cove? Ayola Cove, yeah. Ayola Cove. Very beautiful, very, very flat. And uh, I'm getting a lot of first experiences in this boat that uh, are shaping a lot of my choices. This is only a, a 30 foot boat, so I'm looking at something in the 40 to 43 range. And that's a huge difference. Those 10 feet make a massive, massive difference in the layout of the boat. So the inside layout I'm not super concerned with, but uh, the electric motor seems like 210 amp hours, 48 volts, you get, using half the bank, you get four hours of four knots. That's the, the range on that battery bank, as is. So, that's not too bad. I'm looking, obviously, like uh, my boat would probably take twice the power to move. So, twice the battery bank. Four hours, plus I have all the green power coming in, two kilowatts maybe, between the solar and the and wind turbines. It's doable. I'm excited. ish ground and uh, man it was really cool to get some good gusts going there got the ship really up on its side and uh, you can see that electric motor in action too is just super rewarding I'm I'm so excited I have so much more research to do but it's got me boat crazy right now let's go see how champs doing hi 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 hey what did you do today without me oh really some people are adverse to uh, the idea of Champ being in the van on his own, but this is our home, and I mean, most people leave their dogs at home alone lo much longer than I ever leave Champ in here alone, so he is quite comfortable, especially when I set up the couch, because he loves lying on this couch. And there is a big old warm puppy print all over this couch. I know exactly where you've been, you napaholic. Yeah. Just meeting up with uh, Jesse again, and uh, hey, get out of the road! Come here! Come here! This guy. Mm -hmm. 